Hello and welcome to Skyview software review for the Skystream 3.7 wind turbine. As you can see, this is the opening overview screen. And on your left hand side, you have four buttons generating, ready, waiting, and fault. Well, they're more indicator lights than buttons. The green uh, generating indicator light is on, indicating that we are producing power. Below this, we have our communication status. And this basically just tells us that our communications are all up and working. The USB is working, the interface is working, the Skystream up tower is working, and the inverter uh, is all in good communications. And we can see from the flashing green light that data is being transferred to our down tower. Okay. This is our second screen, the quick diagnostics. As you can see here, you have your power out, your RPM, your turbine temperature, your line voltage on line one, line two, and your line frequency with buttons on the side indicating if there's any problems. Uh, I mean, indicator lights. There's none on, meaning we are working well. Uh, the software version there, version 2.02. .02, and this is our last event indicator telling us what happened uh, with the turbine, uh, what was the last event, and the last event was a power down. Our next screen is our turbine setup screen. And this is the screen where we basically can add uh, several Skystream turbines to the software. Uh, as you can see here, there's only one Skystream uh, presently added to the setup. And uh, we can as you can see over here, it can add several turbines. Uh, I believe uh, 15 or 20 uh, has, been done, uh, has been done and without any problems. So we know we're good for 15 to 20. Um, now uh, here we have our graph screen. Now this is a, a very, uh, very good visual display of, uh, you know, uh, translating what's happening outside to what's happening uh, uh, with power production. Uh, there are two lines, a white and a red. The white line is the power line, and the red line is the RPM. Now, uh, this is a new, uh, the latest version of their graph, and uh, basically it has evolved uh, from their first uh, um, graphs that they did have on the earlier uh, software, data logging software. Uh, this software, actually, the this bar here, let me see, I can show you here. This line here, your power output, as the power increases, it'll actually go up. It'll the numbers will start to change. So uh, from people who uh, are used to the old old numbers, uh, no, it doesn't peak out if you're looking here at 360 RPM at 750 watts. That, that actually will go up to 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, and even up to 4,000 watts. So data logging. Data logging basically gives you the ability to save the raw data that you are receiving from your turbine, and uh, this can be saved to be analyzed at a later date. Um, this can be uh, done uh, in different increments, uh, time increments, increments, uh, one second, five seconds, ten seconds, one minute, um, and basically it, you can build up a detailed anal uh, detailed uh, data um, log of all the uh, you know, of the wind conditions at, at that site. Now this screen here is the detailed data. Now the detailed data, as you can see, has a lot of information, and I will come a little closer. Hopefully you can get that in. Um, focus, but we basically have our software revision, uh, our op version, uh, time, watt hours, voltage in, voltage DC bus, voltage line one, which is right now 122.2.5, uh, voltage line two, 122, uh, voltage rise, uh, voltage from RPM, and I mean there's so much stuff here. Your current out, your power out, your power, uh, your, your your power that you're registering, your power max which it, it, it goes beyond 2400 uh, when the wind blows hard enough. Um, your line frequency, your inverter frequency, just generally has all the information that the tech would need to determine or to diagnose any problems that you're having. Um, I'll be straightforward with you. This latest version of software and uh, the new Zigbee communications, which we are demonstrating here today, uh, has really, really... Uh, proven to be just top-notch, uh, just phenomenal, phenomenal uh, dedication towards the improvement of this data logging software, and I think the people who are uh, responsible for that should be commended. Uh, as you can see here, just to give you a quick, uh, quick uh, a little bit of information, you see it says last update, 
Well, that last update, when we were using the old 900 megahertz system, we'd sometimes get an update every one to two seconds, sometimes three seconds. Uh, as you can see, we are receiving updates every 0.29 to 0 0.30 seconds. That means we are getting three updates per second, as opposed to the old three, uh, you know, one update for every three seconds. So you can imagine there's quite a bit of an improvement. And I'm just going to show you here. I don't want to move too much. But here you see is the Zigbee Pro uh, communication device. As you can see, the lights are flashing on it. Uh, that is the whole unit. And it's just hooked up to a little USB connector. It's pretty simple. Pretty, uh, really high tech. Really 2009, not like the 1985 a 900 megahertz system they had before. But, you know, we give them A for effort. They went out and, uh, you know, they joined up with Zigbee uh, for this communications bundle, and it's just absolutely phenomenal. Um, the uh, three bars here, three different colors. You have your system status, your grid status, and your turbine status. Basically, as you can see, there's only one light on, and it's the run light, meaning everything is working perfectly. And finally, our last screen our installer screen, and this is basically, uh, you know, it has uh, only only those who enter the password can actually an enter into this uh, section here, and this is where you can change the access of who's using the system, uh, the inverter at time, the grid type, and uh, basically we can set even the altitude at which at the height at which the ta uh, the turbine is located, and um, we can also save all the settings. So, I mean, bottom line is, this is a top-notch communications uh, software that is just absolutely phenomenal. As you can see here, we're going back to the main page, uh, the overview page, where we can see our power out and our RPM. I like to keep it on the graph, because that way I can sit down and uh, watch it from afar. And I get, uh, you know, at nighttime, where you can't look out the window and see your wind turbine, well, you can definitely see it's definitely working. Well, that was uh, a small uh, tutorial uh, provided by btechenergy.com. That's B-T-E-K energy.com. Uh, you can visit us on the web. We'll be more than happy to answer any of your Skystream questions or any Skyview questions that you may have. We are located uh, just 30 minutes north of Toronto, Ontario, and we want to be uh, Ontario, if not Canada's number one Skystream dealer. Thank you very much, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Take care.